Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I rise to support this legislation. I want to thank my colleagues for their support. Uh, this is regarding uh, turning people out in the city of Buffalo as it pertains to arguably the most important elections uh, in the community, and that is for Buffalo School Board, who make decisions on behalf of our most precious resource, our children. As a father of three children in the Buffalo Public Schools, I have a personal stake in this. As a parent, I recognize the importance of having individuals that are placed in positions of trust that are elected by the people. And the important part is uh, ensuring that everyone's voice is heard. And this Democratic conference has taken a major stride throughout this in uh, entire session to increase voter turnout, starting with the first piece of legislation that we passed in this legislative session and a series of bills over the course of the last several months to enhance voter turnout, to make it easier for people to get to the polls, to make it easier for people to exercise their right as American citizens to vote. It's the bedrock of our democracy. And unfortunately, as it pertains to Buffalo City School Board elections, specifically in the city of Buffalo, uh, the city of Buffalo is way out of line. The city of Rochester has their elections in November. The city of Syracuse has their elections in November. The other big five, Yonkers and New York, are under mayoral control, so they don't have school board elections. So Buffalo is in its own category. The problem with that is that the voter turnout in May has been abysmal, embarrassing. This year, with unprecedented attention paid to the Buffalo School Board, 16 people running for Buffalo School Board, at-large seats, giving everybody a reason to come out and vote, 6.6% of the electorate decided to take part. That is unfortunate. That needs to change. This legislation will ensure that the school board elections are in November when we already know people are paying attention, they're engaged, they, they are going to be out at the polls, and they will participate in, again, arguably, the most important election in the community. With that, Mr. President, I want to thank the clergy, the community activists, the parents, the NAACP, uh, the various organizations that have worked to advance this legislation over many years. Uh, this is carried by Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes. I give her tremendous credit in the Assembly, and hopefully we can get this done, move on. And in three years, when the next election for Buffalo School Board takes place, we will have a, a, a large turnout, an enhanced turnout, and an engaged electorate for the important election at hand. Mr. President, thank you so much. I vote aye.